Hi, I'm Joni Patree, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the sidereal sign of Cancer. If your moon or your ascendant are in the sidereal sign of Cancer, then this is the video for you to pay attention to. I'm going to be giving you your predictions for 2020, but please, I want you to make sure you're looking at the right zodiac. If you don't know what your ascendant or your moon sign are, please go to my website and check out my free chart calculator, which my website is galacticcenter.org. So if your ascendant or your moon are in cancer, be aware that this is the year that you have really been looking at your work ethic, how you work, or last year was just a really big struggle. You work so hard, but now it's paying off. The work is going to pay off and you probably work so hard. You were so stressed that your health was at a loss for most of the year, but now you're going to be experiencing the benefits of much better health because you have really tackled and changed a lot of habits. And this is all well and good. There's like a big future ahead of you in terms of the efforts that you've put together concerning your work. So please, pay attention though to your health. This is still a sensitive area and it's something that we all need to pay attention to, but especially over the stress, it's like you were so stressed out for so long, there's the aftermaths of the stress that you're still dealing with in accordance to your health. So let's pay attention, but I get that there's a magnificent healing in the area of your health, you're coming together, you're getting healthier, you're getting stronger, you're healing, and you're discovering new ways to get healthy, new diets, new exercise programs, all of these things are only going to benefit you. And I might say between, uh, between and the time to pay most attention to your health will be the month of February. Be aware you are a little bit more accident prone in the month of, of February. So be on it. Don't be impulsive. Don't be impatient. Take your time. Take care of yourself. Now, when we get to the months of the end of March and April, please be aware that there may be some disagreements with your partner, but you might find also that your business partner or partners are more powerful. They're stronger. They're more vivacious They're full of energy and they're a little pushy. You're, you're going to feel a little bit of, of trepidation towards how pushy they are. Don't let them, don't let them push you around. You have to have your say so this is important. But it's not a time necessarily to attract or get a new business partner. And relationships may come under stress. You may be, are, you may find that they're more argumentative and angry. This is temporary. Don't worry, because also in the months of April, May, and June. There's something about your partner coming into power, getting more powerful, being more successful, and it's their turn and time support and honor them. It's time for you to support and honor your partner as they come into a place of well-being and success. This is it. And then again, towards the end of the year, looking at the end of November and December of 2020 and on into the year of 2021, the partner becomes more powerful and successful. And this only helps you because they're supporting and helping you out. This is the time to sort of like stand back and let them be in a place of power empower them. So another thing is around the time of July, August, 
and September, please be aware that, well, this is a good time for social contacts and, and, and coming together. Actually, this will be more or less also May, June, July, and August. Be aware that those are the months you're gonna meet new friends, new associates that can really help you out in so many respects, just really good friends, kind, sweet people, have your best interest at heart. Allow them in your life, and I find you're gonna be in a more social position. Get out there and see who you can meet. And this position can also help you in the area of your relationships, especially around the end of the year. When we come into November, the end of November on into 2021, I see this as a time of serious relationships. If you are not married, let me just say, there's a portion of this year, which will be April, May, and June, that you could come into an incredible relationship and meeting. And if this doesn't take root or take place, then I'm positive it will happen towards the end of the year, November, December, and on into 2021. And if you are in a serious relationship, you may be looking at getting married, really, you know, getting serious, tying the knot, getting, uh, making this for keeps. This is what this is all about. Relationships are stronger and beautiful, but it does go through a topsy-turvy time to get there, but that's okay. It's going to make it so worth it. Now, starting in September, September is a big turning point for everyone, but for you, you're going to start meeting very influential people. Now, this will really take root, take place also throughout the year of 2021, beginning the end of November throughout 2021. No, actually, I take that back. It's going to be more like September through 2021 that I see you meeting very influential and powerful people that will connect you in the business world to make more money. Now, another thing that will happen is if you haven't gotten into the relationship that you want by the end of November or yes, September, October, November, and definitely in the year of 2021, I see a serious relationship that leads to marriage and you could meet them most specifically through what? through friends, social events, connections, go for it. Don't turn down invitations to any special parties. This is your time. Go for it. I know something very, very important is happening for the sign of cancer. And it's going to be a year of radical shifts and big, big changes. You know what I think could happen? There could be an ending of a relationship before a new beginning. And if that's not the case, maybe something's cut off, cut off, but then it becomes on. Because let me reassure you, by the end of 2020 and into 2021, relationships are working and they're the right ones and you will feel secure more than ever throughout this time. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information or a consultation from me, you can always go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Or if you would like to learn Vedic astrology, take this to the next level. Go to my university website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.